Hamas were using hospitals, schools, mosques and others deliberately. And they don't care about Palestinian lives. They don't care I about them. The they knew when they did what they did on October the 7th, there was going to be a massive reaction by Israel. They knew thousands of innocent Palestinians would die. They don't care about their people. So my question for you, Jeremy, which you, which you haven't answered, Jeremy, there are, there are and I want you to answer... dead already. I know. How many more are there going to be before this is over? How many more I, wholly innocent fine. Palestinian answer children my question. are going to be killed answer, because of Israeli Answer military my policy. question. Answer my question. A ceasefire answer. means a ceasefire. Fire. They That's are what we're calling they it are on not, both sides. Right. Would you have said ceasefire, as this is the Israeli argument back at you, would you have said ceasefire to the Allied forces in World War II against the Nazis when they went after cities like Dresden and killed tens of thousands of people in one night? Would you have said ceasefire or would you have said you keep going until you finish and defeat the enemy? That's their argument, that, that they're a war to with a group that wants to remove Israel completely and kill every Jew they can get their hands on. Now, I've asked you repeatedly... Without I want you to wishing ask to rehearse everything in the Second World War, I think military targets should be industrial and military targets. Right, but a lot of German... Home, as, homes and hospitals. As you know, a lot of German civilians died in the process of they taking on the Nazis. They so they my question did. again, and just answer this question, would you keep Hamas in power? It's not up to you. What's your me? opinion? No, you're, hang on a minute. you're expressing plenty of other opinions, aren't you? Piers, well, can can I you ask, calm down a minute? Can I ask you uh, well, a question? Well, you know, I'm can sorry. You calm down a minute. If can you ask, think Hamas should stay in power, you calm say down so. A minute. Can I ask you? Is your a question? Well, I wanted to answer the question. Uh, can I Listen, ask you? No, a he can answer it. Can I ask you a question? It's not a puppet show, Len. Can I ask you? Well, Why I'm won't a... you say Hamas should go? You are a very strange form of interviewing. Am I? Where you interrupt, shout and abuse your guests. Well, you refuse to answer my question what? and he keeps trying to answer it for you. No, I'm going to well, ask you, you a question. Of, no, I'm not going to ask me a question, kind of then. Not? It's not your show, it's mine. And I, I keep asking you the same question. Here. Would you Look, keep Hamas in power? What I said was there has to be a ceasefire. A ceasefire has to be both sides. That ceasefire will then hopefully develop into a longer-term Peace well, you process. think Israel can Wait, do... Hang on a minute. Israel, you think Israel can do peace with Hamas? Israel has been talking to Hamas for 20 years. You think they can do peace they've with them been, after, been, after October the 7th? They've been... Uh, listen, October the 7th was abominable and appalling. Mm. That we're agreeing And you on. think Israel can do peace with people that did that? I managed to get two sentences in between... Because you won't answer you my now... question. Look... If you want to have a discussion, fine. Answer my question. If you question. want to just shout at me, should, that's your prerogative, should Hamas, your TV, your show. Should Hamas okay? stay in power? Listen, should... what I said was a ceasefire means a ceasefire. It means both sides have to cease fire. Yeah. It means you then... Now, you said that. Should Hamas stay in power? It's actually you, you're a, done yet? It's actually a critical question. Are you done yet? It's a critical question. Are you done yet? No, it's the question. Are you done yet? Should they stay in power? Are you done yet? This country says they're a terror group. Do you agree, and should they stay in Listen, power? Listen, I do not approve, support, or welcome Hamas. Are they a terror? Are they a terror group? Everybody knows what they are. Are they a terror group? Look, um, Piers, can, can you we, say it? You Piers, can we have a discussion? Can you say it? Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group, Jeremy? Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Is it possible to have a rational discussion? Are you with prepared you? to call is Hamas possible a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion? Can you? With you Is it possible? Come on, answer that you question. Can't, can you, you answer it? No, it's my okay. show. You answer my question. Well, are, me... Hamas, you are, the... are Hamas a terror group? Listen, can I. Are they a terror group? Piers, can I speak? Answer the question. Can I speak? Are they a terror group? Piers, can no, you let me... no. If you let me speak, are I'll they say... a terror group? If you'll let me speak, Piers. I'll say something. Go on then. A ceasefire means both sides. You said and... that. Are they a terror group? Listen, I said that because Are they that a terror is group? part of the process. Are they a terror and group? And will Can we go Why can't you say it? Piers, can we go through what ought to be happening? Just answer my question. Why do you think Are Hamas most a terror nations group? in the world are calling for a ceasefire? Are Why Hamas a terror group? Come on, answer that. Are answer me. No, you've got it's not so many, your show. You've got so many opinions. Why should I answer yours when you won't day? answer mine? Why do you give out your opinions all day and every day? Are Hamas, you don't like it are Hamas a terror group? Are you. Hamas a terror group? Yes or well, no? You won't, let, you won't like it when somebody yes pushes no. back on you. What I've said is... I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that is very telling. They and you wonder, it's not very and you wonder it's why not, people think you had a problem not with Jewish people. At all, uh, right? is you wonder. Telling. Now, you did, didn't you? Because I've read that post. I went and got it and I read it. Uh, November 17, 2018, you posted a long thing on Facebook that was just complete gobbledygook. 
I mean, you made out the, yeah, the, that's the Rothschilds. I, I talk I, about Jewish space lasers. Do you admit in my that that was a lunatic? That's something I never said. No, excuse well, me, Pierce. Yeah. I never said that phrase. That was a lie about me. If you read my original Facebook post, I never said it. And that's why I had to write this book, because people like you and whoever that guy was, was who me. sounds like one of the trolls in my social media, yeah. uh, attacking me and calling me names when he's never met me. I, um, I'm not anti-Semitic at all. I support Israel, and I am outraged at Hamas attacking Innocent Israeli citizens, yeah, women, Marjorie, children, I'm not calling slaughtering you, babies. I'm not calling you anything. I'm just saying that you did post this uh, crazy post, basically alleging I, that... You know, I know, no, you know, the media lied about it, and that's why I wrote I've my book, Piers, because I'm setting the record straight. And I hope people order my book at mtgbook.com. It's a <laughs> well, great a read. Good plug. People need to know exactly who I am, who I am, and what I really believe in. It's a very good. For. It's a very good plug for the book. But you did suggest in this post, which I've read very carefully, you did suggest that the California wildfires at the time had been started by PG&E in conjunction with the Rothschilds using a, a, a space laser in order to clear room for a high-speed rail project. They're your <laughs> words, not mine. Well, you know, people have twisted my words nonstop, and I guess that's what you're going to continue to do. But we're working hard in America anything, to straighten out our problems. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're doing a great job of it, Piers, and that's what you and your colleagues do all the time. Marjorie, I just don't, I I don't handle have... it. I don't deal with it, and I cast it to the Marjorie, side. I have um, your, you know, there's I have a lot of issues here. happening that we could talk about. I'm going to we come to those. We could talk about... But before we, before okay. we move on, though, you have to just accept what you wrote yourself, don't you? You deleted it. You obviously you were embarrassed well, by it. Well, that would be like that would be like me asking you to accept the fact that you defended prisoners at Guantanamo Bay, but never say anything about January 6 defendants who are having their rights abused and are rotting away in solitary confinement here in our country and especially in the DC jail. You know, if we're going to talk about each other's words, let's hold each other to account and to issues that really matter, yeah, not I, I, social media posts from I the past. I don't know what you're okay? referring to on Guantanamo Bay, but what I would say about Guantanamo Bay is it's clearly ridiculous that America kept this open-ended camp where people were kept without trial sometimes for more than 12 years. It's completely ridiculous in a civilised democratic society that you would do that. Now, let's move on from my words. Well, in a, in a, in a civilised democrat society, we shouldn't be holding American citizens that simply walk through the Capitol, grandmothers and mothers and veterans, walking through the Capitol, never doing anything wrong, and they're rotting away in jail and being persecuted by our Department of Justice well, me... and our government that well, is, well, has completely that Marjorie, gone all, out of control. We all so saw... if you're going to talk about one, we should talk about the let's other. Let's talk about January 6th, by all means. I mean, I know what I witnessed with my own eyes, and it was a huge violent Oh, wait, mob. were you here? It was... Sorry? Were you here? No, I watched it on television. You weren't here. Oh, I was here. Piers, let me tell mm. you, I was here. I was actually in the House chamber because I objected to Joe mm. Biden's Electoral College votes. Yeah. Um, I'm very proud of that. I would object again today if but I you could. you did suggest and that people... I was there. But you did suggest that people use violence to, to thwart democracy, didn't you? Not, well, you mean like in 1776 when we beat your country? Is that what you're talking about? If you want um, to no, reference... No, I didn't talk about violence on January 6th. If you want to reference 1776? What I did talk about is objecting, using my constitutional duty that I have well, as a member of Congress... let me play you what you said. ...to object to fraudulent let, Marjorie, electoral let me play college you what, votes. let me play you what Absolutely, you said. Absolutely, I did let that. Let me play you what you said. Let's, let's play what you said. Your own words. This is an important time in our history. We can't allow this just to just to be gone, you know, just to let it go. You can't allow it to just transfer power peacefully like Joe Biden wants and allow him to become our president because he did not win this election. It's being stolen and the evidence is there. The so there can be no peaceful transfer of power. So what's the opposite of peace? That's why we objected, Piers. That's yeah, why that's we why, objected. And, and that's why, Marjorie, a gigantic um, privilege mob that of... I have as a member of Congress. Okay, but let me make you know, my point. There was a law firm that tried to take me off the ballot, and they were laughed out of the courtroom let in Georgia. Let me make my point. And you were giving their talking points. I can't tell you how much people in Georgia would think. And let this me is give ridiculous. you my talking point. 
which is that a huge mob of people, many of whom were violent, crashed into the capital to try and thwart democracy. Wait, because, do you mean like... Because you people mean like, like you, Marjorie... You mean like the pro-Hamas rioters? People like you said two things. You mean like the pro-Hamas no, no, rioters? No, 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 I'm talking about January 6th. That came in and occupied our Marjorie, capital Marjorie, on uh, October 18th Marjorie, that Rashida answer, Tlaib Marjorie, herself led? answer my question. No, wait, we're, we're in 2023, Piers. Marjorie, answer we my question. We just had a pro-Hamas mob You've written a book in which you talk about these the things. Now, let's just bear in mind that Israel's spokespeople have a long track record of lying through their back teeth. When they shot in the head, for example, uh, Shireen Abu Akhli, mm. they said for months and months and months it was Palestinian gunmen. It wasn't. They shot her in the head. James Miller, a brilliant British documentary work uh, filmmaker, shot dead 2002 by the Israelis. Years later, of course, after you wouldn't, they denied you it... You wouldn't believe Hamas and their version of events either, would you? Well, I, that's why I depend on what aid agencies mm. are the United Nations are saying on the ground, which is mm. that collective punishment is being unleashed against the Palestinian people. I mean, look, we can see already the evidence they've been um, unveiling for what they said was a, a terror hub, including showing CDs and a computer. What they've done to that hospital is, firstly, because they cut off energy in a total siege, which mm. they justified by saying they were fighting human animals, which should be considered genocidal rhetoric has been condemned as well, such. Well, it as... should certainly be condemned, and they should not have the ability, uh, Israel, to cut off yep. water Thank and you. power we, and fuel. It's they a, shouldn't. But it's the fuel, a, it's the fuel, that is collective the, punishment. Well, the just fuel, agree, just yeah, agree, can we agree, a, under Article 33, that's against the law. It's a war crime. Can we agree? I, I think we should have some consensus. I would, I, would, I would argue you're heading towards collective punishment when you do that. You're not the... heading towards collective punishment well, when you cut off energy and except, water to the entire civilian population. Except to play devil's advocate and to give their side of it, which I've heard repeatedly, take the issue of fuel. They want to try and get fuel in, the Israelis, as they've said, to the hospitals, to the humanitarian side of this, but they know that Hamas are taking that fuel and using it for their military. The, the hospital authorities, who we should listen to, have mm. rebutted those accusations. Look, what we've, what's happened here mm. is babies right now mm. are gasping for breath yes. and suffocating. Mm. We've had several nurses and patients shot dead. In fact, this whole hospital has been described by medical staff as a mortuary. But you don't the, know. Just oh, quickly, oh, oh, when a on, hospital, I... just quickly, when yeah. a hospital becomes a mass grave, yeah. when dozens of decomposing bodies mm. have to be buried in a mass grave in a hospital, we're talking. What you said? Can I just quote something you said about sure. about Putin? And, and I think this was very wise. You said. In March 2022, I'm seeing a genocidal monster killing women and babies in maternity hospitals as we sit back and let them do it. Why was it so disgraceful? But you were right. Mm. You were right to well, be Well, here's the difference. Why, why, me, why when you see this hospital, is there not the same fury? Let me explain. Uh, because the two are, in my opinion, morally very different. In one case, Vladimir Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine, he was committing war crimes having illegally invaded... The so oh, wait a second, let me finish. Having invaded a sovereign democratic country. Here, it was Israel that was invaded by a v vast number of terrorists who uh, murdered over 1,500 innocent men, women, children. They kidnapped 240 people, including babies, children, yeah, Holocaust yes. survivors. So my point is, morally, there is a massive difference. Hold on, hold on. Uh, morally, yeah. it's a massive difference. Now, the question of the hospital... Wait a sec. The question of the hospitals is this to me. They have so far produced some evidence of Hamas operating inside the hospital. For me, so far, as a journalist trying to be fair yeah. and impartial, okay. I don't think, as you've heard me say to Mark Regev, I don't think I've seen enough evidence right. here, which says to me this was a sprawling well, there's a, there's a, there's command a, centre. But there is a moral difference between what Putin's doing in Ukraine no. and what Israel's doing to no. defend itself against Hamas, hold, isn't there? Hold on. Isn't hold, there? No, 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 sorry, this is the difference, OK, if you, if you want to talk about that or, mm. or, or trying to separate them. For a Ukrainian ordinary civilian, Mm. being killed mm -hmm. or put an ordinary Palestinian child being killed. Both equally awful. None of them, none of them did anything wrong. No. We agree on that, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. We absolutely agree yes, on we that. Yes, we do. Now, when, we're talk when you repeatedly denounced Putin for his genocidal behaviour in Ukraine, yeah. do you stand by that? Do you yes, think that's a genocide? Absolutely. Well, it doesn't matter what the, be what the basis mm. for what the... Of course it does. No, 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 no. no. In no, no, it does. No, 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 Pierce, in terms of what actually is happening, we mm. can talk what, about the massacre... The obscene massacre of a thousand. What Israelis. Israel's doing no, is no, not no, no. genocide. Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. You can't keep saying no, let's, no, no, okay, no. Let's, like, talk genocide. Gonna... let's talk about genocide. Let's talk about genocide. Why is it? Let what? me tell you the difference between genocide. Let, let, me, let me put something to you, and you come back at me and tell me if I'm okay. wrong. Hamas, from its charter onwards, and from the spokesman said last week, is dedicated 
to the eradication of Israel and killing as many Jews as it can possibly kill. That is the purest definition of genocide intent that you will ever see. And they executed it on October the 7th as best they could. Now, what Israel's doing in response, and they've been very firm about this, and the international courts will rule Pierce, as they... Pierce, well, these are, so, these are very on. long questions. They're not. I I'm, making, I'm answering a point okay. and I'm putting one to you, right? In my estimation, they are qualitatively different. What Hamas is... is Can I answer? Publicly, what they're doing okay. is genocide. What Israel's doing is not genocide. There's a difference between... Well, Israel, you could say both Israel and Hamas have engaged in genocidal and murderous rhetoric. No. And I'll give you an example. No, yes, no, they you, have. No, you can't. Benjamin Netanyahu, no, you, one I can't. Is it uncensored or not? Yes, let me OK, quote, you can say let me, quote, let me quote what the, the Israeli authorities have said. Go on. Benjamin Netanyahu, when he quoted Amalek, mm. the scriptures, what does Amalek say? Mm. It, he, he quotes Amalek when they attacked the Israelites. And what God told the Israelites to do was to destroy every kill, every man, woman, child, and livestock. Mm. If I would put it to you, an Islamist leader was quoting a similarly genocidal passage from the Quran, you would not, I would say, I respond? hesitate. Can I respond? What, what, no, no, what, what we haven't just no, but you've had we'll a lot. Respond to that I'm point. gonna respond just quickly. Israeli officials said mm. that Gaza will end up being a city of tents with no building standing, mm. that they are that they are attacking for damage not for accuracy. The agricultural minister, Avidikti, he said, we are rolling out a new Nakba. A Nakba is the mm. mass expulsion, 700,000 mm. Palestinians in 1948. Mm. This is why hundreds of genocide scholars, people who are actually, unlike you and I, mm. experts in the field of genocide mm. studies, fear okay. that a genocide is taking place. So the difference between Israel Let and Hamas now. is Hamas does not have the capacity to wipe out no. Israel. Israel is wiping Gaza the point. off the map. I said you want to go second? I so, defer to my, my brother. And the way this will work, uh, Mohammed, we have four sections of this debate. And at the start of each one, you'll both get one minute uninterrupted to say what you want to say about each of the themed uh, titles of each block. So you go first, and at the end of your minute, you'll hear a sound, and when you hear that... Uh, you end, and then a Rabbi Shmueli gets his chance to speak. So the first theme is a simple one. Are Hamas to blame? You have a minute, Mohammed, from now. From one perspective, Hamas started the battle because, uh, obviously, from October 7th, even they themselves titled it to find Al-Aqsa or the flooding of Al-Aqsa. But from another perspective, if you really look at it from an international law perspective, we're talking about 1967, we're talking about a resolution, Security Resolution 242, in which it is actually stated that um, Israel is in a belligerent state because they're occupying the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza. And they have been, so therefore the war has been continual for a very long time according to international law. But let's remove Hamas from the situation altogether. Let's remove them. What do you have? You have the West Bank. And what do you have in the West Bank? You have 187 children who have been put in prisons. They have been put in prisons, according to Beth Salam, without charge. You have 44 children before October the 7th that have been killed before October the 7th, in just 2023 alone. So if you remove Hamas from the equation, what you have, you have the West Bank. You, you remove dominance from the equation, you have the West Bank, and what do you have? You have occupation, you have settlement, which you condemned, rightfully so. You condemned that on your show. The settlement's there. OK. Rabbi Shmuley, one minute to respond. Resolution 242 in the UN doesn't mention a single thing about aggre aggression or aggressor. That is a total fabrication, and it speaks about disputed territories. But let's be clear. The occupier of Gaza is Hamas. They won an election in 2006, had a civil war with Mahmoud Abbas, took the Palestinian Authority officials, threw them off buildings, killed Muslims, killed Arabs. Mahmoud Abbas is afraid to go to Gaza. He's terrified of Hamas. He hasn't been there since 2007. And let's be clear, Hamas is an abomination to Islam. Sultan Salah al-Adin, the greatest Muslim conqueror of all time, after whom the main artery in, in Gaza is named, he said that you have to allow all prisoners to be redeemed. He would never hold hostages. This is, and remember, the Islam is about fair treatment of prisoners of war. Hamas beheaded Thai non-Jewish workers. You asked in your last opinion, here for real uh, first-hand sources. I'm the first-hand source. I saw it in Kibbutz Alumim. They raped women. They had sex with dead women's okay. bodies. They are evil and time's do up, the right up, things and up, call up, them up, evil. Up, All up. right, we've had a minute each. Okay, we've got a, a passionate start. Mohammed, let me ask you about Hamas. I want to first, before you do that, I want to commend you, Piers, mm -hmm. honestly, because bringing me on for the second time, I have to commend you. And the fact that you actually condemned the settlements is very good, but people want to know, do you think the IDF for a terrorist organization? Uh, no. You don't think that a terrorist... Okay, no. well, if you look at the UN definition of terrorist organization, they say killing civilians for political... No, you ask me my opinion. 
No, but it's, I, it's I the UN definition. The, according to the UN definition, it's killing civilians for political objectives. Mm. Why are they not terrorist organizations? Well, it's, it, well, you've asked me a straight question. I don't yes. think they are terror organizations. So when you see babies like this, the ones it's who kill, the ones who kill babies like this are not terrorists. It's horrific. So the people can who I, kill can, babies can like this are not terrorists. Well, let me let me respond. <laughs> yes. Let me respond. We'll, yeah. we'll both, it's not your turn. You can both get into this. Here's my response to that. And I thought carefully about this. I'll be very honest about my own feelings. I, I have a real moral quandary about this because as a father, I, I hate these scenes of kids being killed in Gaza. It's horrific, right? We all know it's horrific. But are they a terrorist organisation, well, though? I'm, I'm about to explain to you what I think my position is. My position is after what happened on October the 7th, it was so barbaric, so disgusting... So you can kill children? Well, no, what you can do... That's exactly what terrorists say, by the way. Let me answer your this question. Is, this is not a exactly This, this, this is record. someone else becoming the host you of can, the show you and now interviewing you. I, I thought you're gonna have we're your being chance. interviewed. You're going to have your chance. Mohamed, you and I are being interviewed. You're not here to interview him. You're going to have your chance. Mohamed, you can put it down. Don't make him lose control of his own show. You do this all the time. It will not... I'm not going to let it happen tonight. All right, rubbish. Let me ask you... Please have respect for the... No, no, no. Stop interviewing the interviewer and be respectful. And be respectful. Let me respond. Tell me, sir, is it a organization No. Why not? I do not believe so. They I'm kill not... civilians for political You have objectives. to let me answer. Go ahead. OK. Here's my answer to that. When Hamas did what they did, two things. One, Hamas knew exactly what Israel's response would be. They knew they would come incredibly hard back. I don't the... absolve them. Wait, wait a minute. I'm not absolving anybody. I'm, I'm, not, just... absol I'm not absolving them. Yeah. OK. I'm saying the West Bank is West I know, Hamas. I know. West Hamas. Let me, you have to let me answer. You've you got 44 children killed this like this in the West Bank. This is ridiculous. Wait a minute, rubbish. Really.